to Mrs Webster back again. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, I just want to share with you today um, a story that we've done lots of lovely work um, before in FS2, the super potato story, super potato. Um, I'm going to put a link onto Dojo with some nice little problem solving activities just to get us back into the swing of doing some work again after the Easter break. But I thought it might be a nice little reminder if I read the story to you to help with your learning. Again, like we've said before, please do not be panicking about completing every single task that we put onto Dojo. Um, make sure you have a bit of a balance. Some days, mums and dads and family members might just be a little bit busy with other things that they've got going on. They might have to be working from home themselves. So please just bear with mums and dads and you can do stick to your own little timetables and when you get a chance you can complete some of our phonics and our maths and our fun activities when you can. Okay, so here we go. Sue Potato by Sue Hendra. Some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Don't believe me? Then keep reading. It was night time in the supermarket and all was quiet. But, crash, bang, something had escaped from the freezer. Something small and round and green. Something looking for trouble. Big trouble. Help, help, cried Carrot. I'm stuck to the conveyor belt. Ah, cried Broccoli. Someone's drawn on my face. Hmm, <laughs> cried Cucumber. Who was doing this? And was there anyone who could help these vegetables in distress? Super Tato to the rescue! He used his super speed. He used his super strength. He used a flannel and some soapy water. I know who's behind this, said Super Tato. There's a pea on the loose. Oh no, not a pea, everyone gasped. Yes! A pea, but I'm out of the freezer now and I'm never going back. Mwahahaha! And the evil pig ran off to commit more terrible crimes. Time for a dip, little veggies! That's enough! shouted Sue Potato. He leapt towards the pea, but the pea popped out of his hands and vanished into thin air. Sue Potato set out on a super search. He crept through the cakes, checked the cheese and snuck up on the beans. Then something caught his eye. The game's up, yelled Sue Potato. But the pea bounced out of reach and onto a trolley. Sue Potato was just about to stop him with his super strength when the trolley crashed and he was thrown down into the icy depths of the freezer. <gasps> was this the end of Sue Potato? <gasps> Not quite, but the pea was off his trolley and lying in wait. You're finished, Sue Potato, he shrieked. But Sue Potato summoned up all his strength and ran for it. The pea nearly had him at the beans and closed in on him at the cheese. He had him cornered at the cakes. So much for Sue Potato, screeched the pea. You're about to be mashed, Potato. Surely this was the end of Sue Potato. Not today, my friend, said Sue Potato. Gotcha, mm -hmm, said the pea. Oh yes, said Sue Potato. I set my trap and you fell for it. Or should that be in it? 
and he grinned a super grin. Super Tato had saved the day. Take him away, he said, and the pea was marched back to the freezer where he belonged. This jelly tastes of pea, said Broccoli, <laughs> and everybody laughed and cheered. So remember folks, some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Maybe you'd better go and check your freezer, just in case there's an escapee in your house. <laughs>